allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. 
We truly live in the best country on this earth. And yes, I know that we have our problems in America and we have them in our city, but we are still better off than most of the world. We are still free today to be able to speak our minds and we can do so without concern or threat of being thrown in jail because our opinion is different than someone else's. God truly has blessed America. And I pray that He continues to do so. I pray that our nation's leaders will uphold our freedoms and our liberties. For this truly is a wonderful country. freedom we experience every day is only because we have had men who have had a vision and because we have had men and women who have been willing to fight for their and to give their lives and we have been blessed with a great military and continue to stand and fight for our freedoms Shout, now we're marching all above, and those big songs, we're rolling above. For it's high, high in the field of 
Nice job, kids. Thank you for all of those who have served our nation, and we pray that God's blessing will be on you. Much of the reason that I believe that this country has been so blessed is because we, for the most part, have endeavored to put our trust in God. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 through 6 say this, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above the nations on earth. All of these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. And you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your labor will be blessed, and the crops of your land, and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds, and the lambs of your flocks. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in, and blessed when you go out. For many years now, our motto has been, in God we trust. We see it in and around our government buildings and on our currency. The question we face today is, if we as a nation will continue to believe in and continue to trust in Him, in all and through all, in the things that we face as this nation. If we stand on His principles, we will remain and we will rise above.
Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the faithful lightning of His terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah.
What God is willing and we are strong enough to keep in faith. We choose to declare today that this is God's country. We make a pledge to put it first and trust Him with our nation and its rights and our privileges. We take hold of Second Chronicles 7.14, which reads, If my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways that I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Lord, please forgive our apathy and give us strength again to lead our nation by our statutes. If our country is worth dying for in time of war, let us resolve that it is truly worth living for in time of peace. And join hand in hand, brave Americans all. By uniting we stand, dividing we fall. So not only will we stand for Christ, we will stand together as for faith and strength and living a righteous life so that we can live in a free country and with a free heart. Lord, we ask you to bless this nation and lead each man to grasp the truth of your word that we may continue to be known as a land that trusts in God above. Our country is not the only thing which we owe our allegiance. It is also owed to justice and to humanity. 
Patriotism does not just consist of waving the flag, but in striving that our country shall be righteous as well as strong. America cannot remain great for long without God at the center. Israel was blessed when they followed him, but struggled when they chose their own path. May God help us, and may we call out to him. Amen. Enjoy these next two videos. In the end, there is a cry for freedom from a nation born in liberty. For there's a battle that is raging for her children that can only be won upon her knees. America, envy of the nations, for long ago you answered freedom's call. If in God we trust, we shall stand in victory. America, America, stay free. In the heart there is a need for freedom from a soldier on that lonely distant shore. He is willing to give his life in honor. We must pray like we never prayed before. America, envy of the nations, for long ago you answered freedom's call. If in God we trust, we shall stand in victory. America, America, stay free. In the soul there is a shout for freedom, for a nation being burdened from within. If we seek the Lord and follow He, We can be blessed once again. America, envy of the nations. For long ago, you answered freedom's call. If in God we trust, we shall stand in victory. America, America, stay free. For this battle that is waging is only won upon our knees. America, America, stay free. In the end, there is a cry for freedom. 
just my children and my wife. Thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. How many of you are glad for this country that we live in? Listen, there are brothers and sisters in the Lord in other countries and in other nations that if they gathered like we do today, their life is in jeopardy. The Lord has blessed this nation that we call our home. And it is under attack. Let me say that again. It is under attack, the freedoms that we know. We need to today continue to pray and ask the Lord to help us. To ask the Lord to help our nation's leaders to understand the freedoms that we have and to stand firm upon the doctrines that have been listed that our country may continue to be free. It would not surprise me to see things continue to go the way they are, but I also know that our God is able to keep us free, to give us liberties, to gather together in the house that we call His. We celebrate our nation today, but we really celebrate God who's given us the freedoms to stand here to say it's about Him and what He has done. We cannot take it for granted. And I do appreciate the fact that we have had many that have served this nation and know many of you are here and in the fall we'll do a veteran service. And, but there are many that have passed on that have given their lives. My grandfather, I have a flag when he served in World War II. And I count this a privilege to be able to stand here today to say thank You, Lord, for the freedoms that we have to worship You. That we don't have to hide. We don't have to sneak around in the middle of the night and wonder if our life is going to be taken. Will you pray with me and bow your heads? And let me ask, I know that today wasn't a message in the sermon about Jesus, but... 
I do know this, that He has given us liberties and freedom. And I know it's not beyond the possibility that the Lord has spoken to you today and said, hey, you know what? There's freedom in this place that I've never experienced before. And if you need Jesus in your life, He promises that if you will call out to Him and say, well, Father, forgive me of my sin, that He will give you that freedom. Yes, we have a free country, but my question to you today is, is, is your heart, is your soul, is your spirit free, or is it held in bondage by the enemy? If you need Jesus in your life today, what a great day to be able to say that July the 1st of 2018 that I bowed my head and I said, Father, forgive me of my sin. I need freedom not only in the country that I live, but I need freedom in my heart. And if you will ask Him to forgive you, He promises that He will forgive you He's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and wipe them all clean and send them as far as the east from the west. And we'll be glad to help you start your new life of freedom in Jesus Christ. I'd love to pray with you this morning. There are many in this place that would stop for just a minute if you'd not touch them on the shoulder and say, can you pray for me that the Lord would forgive me of my sins?